So we're here live at the stalking show. It's Saturday morning, it's 25 past eight, and the doors to the public are gonna open in about five minutes. So what I wanna do is have a quick scoot around the whole show if I can, to give you a little indication about who is on display here and what we can see should you manage to come along. There's still time to get tickets, so if you haven't got them yet, please do. So where do we start? Well, how to get into deer stalking, of course. And here we have Get Into Deer Stalking, the Shooting and Hunting Academy, where we're promoting the Proficient Deer Stalker Level 1. So let's have a little look around and see what else is going on here today. So here we have Pulsar, so great thermal imaging equipment. And then if we carry on up this aisle, I loved these last year. We had some brilliant walking sticks here. Absolutely love it. And as we carry on further down this line, we have Katie Hargreaves. Let's say a quick hello to Katie. Oh, and James Marchington at the same time. Katie, Hi. hello, nice to see Hi. you. Ooh. What? <laughs> I was going to take it from you. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be scared. <laughs> um, what are you hoping to, uh, to, to, to uh, what do you think is going to go hot ooh. off the shelves today? Um, oh, I don't know. I think this, uh, this stag here is always a good seller. That's um, beautiful. And Katie. recently I did this piece. This is a print, but. Um, this is quite a new one for me, and I think people really love the drama of it. So, yeah. Absolutely love Excited it. Love it. And yeah. while, we, while, while we're here, James, we're here, James. James Marchington as well from Field Sports Channel. So, um, Hello. nice to see you guys. You here too, today. yeah. Yeah, Good. brilliant. We'll see you later. Your stand is not far from ours. No, it's very close around the corner, so um, see we'll later. see you later. Great to see you guys. Thank you. So, as we carry on, we have got Swarovski Optic. Brilliant optics here, you know, about as good as you're ever going to get, really. If you're thinking about putting some optics on your rifle, then I would strongly consider this. Let's say hello to Carl while we're here. Carl, morning. you're live on camera this morning. Good yeah. morning, how are you keeping? I was just saying, good option for people that want to put a, a rifle scope on uh, uh, and just getting started. Absolutely. Start with the best. Well, Start it, as you mean to go it, on. It's difficult to beat, isn't it? I think, Absolutely. You know, it, it's certainly one of the top and you top uh, optics manufacturers out there still. And you have Carly's. And we've got Carly's, yeah, yeah. So uh, as well as some of the hunting kit, there's, uh, there's also a bit of the target shooting stuff as well. Brilliant. So um, yeah, full selection. Good. Full selection for people to come and, uh, come and have a look at. Well, best of luck today, Carl. Yeah, all the best. Speak to you again. Cheers. Cheers. Right, Simpson Brothers, Harkila, and then we start moving on to some of the rifles as well. Now, Highland Outdoors, now we've got some good stuff here gone. We've got the Gunworks over here. Now this is a rifle that we'll be talking about in another film, but I think that's well worth a look at. So we'll point, that, point you in that direction later on. In the meantime, another one we'll be looking at on another film is GRS rifle stocks. Really great bit of kit this, and something well worth considering if you are looking to upgrade your rifle or perhaps get a new rifle and add a stock onto it. You've got beautiful designs here. We'll talk more about that another time. Ember leaf knives, very, very popular hunting knives. Have some taxidermy. Weatherby rifles. Now this is going to be an odd one. They have a stag calling competition. So um, I've not been giving it any thought or any practice myself, but uh, we'll wait and see what happens later on today. Okay, so picking up here in the second building, let's work our way around. So we have, in fact, we'll come this way first of all. UK Deer Track and Trace. Hello guys, Thank how are you? Much. Great job you're doing here, absolutely love it. Thank you very much. Let me say hello. Really appreciate it. No, really good job, I think UK Deer Track and Trace. Just give, us, just give us 20 seconds on that because we're whizzing around the whole show today. Right, well UK Deer Track and Recovery is a, a organization here in the UK. We've been running now for mm, nearly 12, nearly 10 years, 11 years, something like that now. Um, it's a completely free service. We have tracking teams around the country. Obviously, you, 
you, you, you've met yeah. a few of our tracking yeah. teams. Yeah. Um, we're discreet service, completely free. I Give us a call. Um, we're there to help you find a lost deer. And we're not going to. Um, you know, th else. this has been absolutely brilliant. We've used them at Capriola's Club and County Deer Stalking, and I have to say, you know, the the dogs and your ability to be able to track injured deer is absolutely superb. So please do bear them in mind. Thanks so much. We're going to whiz around the whole show, Thank and we'll speak to you later. Support. Cheers. So we have British Deer Society. Hi, how are you? Artemis deer stalking over here. Munchak trading for all sorts of equipment. German wire head pointer club. Hello guys, hello all. Dog first aid training. I, I, I didn't know there was such a thing, ladies. That's amazing. Well, yeah, it's got, it's got a great representation of what we're doing. We're still setting up, but uh, yeah, well, we. Um, you'll have to be quick. It's half past eight now. I know exactly. Um, so we're starting to panic. Um, yeah, we train uh, people who own dogs and, and canine professionals yeah. how to do first aid on their dogs, which in this environment is is crucial because obviously yeah, of lots of different things can happen from yeah. barbed wire injuries to sprains to breakages. So we equip people with the confidence to be able to deal with it in the field. Brilliant. Thanks very much and best of luck with it. Thank you so much. Good. So heaps of stands as you go round. I mean, there really is something for everyone. And we come round now to the National Gamekeepers Organisation. So someone I want to introduce you to over here is Julian Stoyle. Now, Julian is probably, I think, one of the UK's greatest experts on deer. So let's go and say hello. Julian. Yes. Good to see you, mate. How are you doing? Nice to see you here yeah, today. You? Good. I was just described you as one of the UK's most prominent experts. Oh, I don't on, know about on, that. I think on, we're, every day we're at a learning day, isn't it? We're all passing knowledge and this is going to be great with everyone here together, isn't it? Isn't it's just, it? you know, it's just so good to see, you know, all the deer, deer people. Yeah. I say when I go around the world to conferences or whatever, we're normally going to a beer factory or a chocolate factory. I want to see deer and deer-like things, you know, whether it be rifles, scopes, optics, you know, it's fantastic. Do you know, isn't it brilliant, the fact that they've been able to bring in that many people and that many stands yeah. for what is essentially quite a niche field sport? Yeah, and very from the first year to now, I just see it now. It's just buzzing and so many people yeah. excited. Yeah. You know, sometimes the other shows should we say go off track a little bit from what we're actually the core thing what we're about and i just see this is just fantastic yeah, you know building really. to the core thing yeah well see listen you. best of luck today yeah. and we'll catch you later see you on. later take care thanks julian so he heaps of clothing here guys as well so if you need um uh, various different garments then another great place to come and check that out Rifles, Tika and Sarko, Swazi, New Zealand. And then on, our, on my uh, left here, we've got Tom's targets for some great steel targets. Really good, interact, really good interactive targets, these types of things for deer stalkers. So really good thing to come and have a little look at. Edgar Brothers. Rovins, Hauer, back to Highland Outdoor there. There's another big clothing manufacturer is of course Ridgeline. So there's heaps of clothing from Ridgeline. Over here we have Blaza. We have the new Sauer 505. Hello gents, how are you? Stop, stop trying to escape the camera there. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, gents. So you're showcasing Blazer and Sauer here today, aren't you? And Mauser. And Mauser, yep. great. Yeah, Mauser and then Limka and Minox Optics. Well, we're going to be shooting a, a, a film about rifles a bit later on as well in the day, so hopefully I can pop over and uh, pick your brains on a couple of things. Absolutely, come say hello. Brilliant, so. have a great day. And you, Cheers. see you later. Gents. 
Now, we saw Swarovski earlier on. Well, over here, we also have Zeiss, which is another big optics provider. And you can come here and trial a lot of their scopes and equipment. So it's a really good place to come to have a look at optics and thermals, clothes, rifles, just about everything. But let's keep on moving on. Pick Micro. Bonelli, Sarco, Beretta. And if you come with me, we're going to go and capture, we're going to go and capture uh, uh, David from the, normally from the Hello. news stump. <laughs> How you doing, Peter? Great to see you. Yeah, and nice you, to see you. you. Yeah, excited to be here. Yes, absolutely. I, this is this the first time you've ex exhibited here? Second time for okay. us this year, actually. Okay. We came and it, it was a great success last year, and we yep. thought, well, let's, uh, let's come along this year. And it's really good to, I was saying to someone else, such a niche field sport, isn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's fabulous to see oh. so many people here. Pipes are kicking in. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but listen, you guys have a good day, and Thank we'll you. Uh, catch you later. All right, cheers. Good to see you, David. Yeah, right, really so. Nice so now, here we also have Virtus Precision. Hello, guys. Where's Vern's disappeared, is he? So in a, in a sentence, what are you guys doing here? We're selling lead-free ammunition and uh, bullets, projectiles for deer stalking, uh, take lead out of the food chain, basically. Good, yeah. brilliant. Really fabulous ammunition, this. So yeah, we've yeah. got some to be trialling later on in the year, and we'll give some feedback on that later. Yeah. You have a good day. Thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah. Hawk. More steel targets over here. Fortis Clothing is another great brand here. Schultz and Larson, some fabulous rifles there. Leica. Leica now, we've seen Swarovski, we've seen Zeiss, another one of the sort of trilogy of top rifle scope manufacturers would be Leica. So that's well worth a visit as well. We have Basque here today. We've got Lewis Thornley from Basque. Excuse me, gents. Hello. Hello, gentlemen. Lewis Thornley from Basque. Nice to so see you. Nice to see you. Hopefully, you right? you'll be having a good day of it Thank today. Thank you. Thank you. You make all so. of these shows, don't you? So, oh, uh, well, indeed, indeed. You Lots can't... of stalkers descending on this one, though. It's had some really good promotion, Peter, hasn't it? Good. And yeah. uh, it's a really good show in the calendar year, you know. Um, it attracts a lot of people and uh, hope everyone enjoys their day. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. Good. Well, listen, have a good day of it and we'll catch up with you later on, I Thanks, hope. Peter. All right. Thanks, Cheers. Lewis. Oh, now, this is uh, worth a stop in. This is the Barbary Shooting and Gun Room. Now, Barbary are my local gun room, as it happens, so I'm hoping a couple of them will recognise me. Hello, gents. I'm going to point a camera in your face. How are you? Okay. Good, to you. Good to see you. Hello, gents. Nice How to see you all. You? Good. We're going to be back over here at Barbary later on because I think, Craig, you've got a couple of rifles that are... Seiko 90, wanting. wasn't it, we were talking about? Yeah, I was really interested in that Quest, that Seiko yeah, Quest. Got one up there on the wall. Yeah, good. Well, what we're doing today is we're having a quick scoot around the showground to show everyone what's going on. But um, hopefully we'll be able to come and pick your brains on that, that, that Seiko later on. Please do. Good. You have a good day. And you. Good luck. Braces. Dan, hello. Okay. Okay. Good to see you. You keeping well? Very good, thank good. you. Good. We're having a quick scoot around, show everyone what's uh, what's on display. So, uh, Dan is from Braces. You'll have caught Dan in some of our previous films when we were looking at some of the rifles. What do you think is going to go off the shelves here today? Uh, I'm not sure what to expect, to be honest. It's our first time attending. I like the community sort of side of the stalking show. I think it'll be a good um, sort of meet-up for all the people that go stalking around the UK, really. Yeah. See, so, yeah, yeah. I quite like the sort of community aspect of it rather than just purely 
business. I think yeah. it'd be good. It's really a looking great show, it. isn't it? This yeah, yeah, it's I really good. I like the guys that set it up. I, I like it. I think it's something worth supporting. Yeah, yeah. And, and so targeted for deer stalkers. That's the yes. thing. I mean, we were at the shooting show last, weren't we? And uh... Yeah, it's a much wider net at the shooting show. It's, much, it's easier to do this because obviously we know exactly what we need to bring yeah. to target the, the people and what they're going to want to see here. Yeah. Um, I do like the shooting show as well, but I think it's two very different different events and maybe if you've been to the shooting show it'd probably still be worth coming to the stalking show if you're into stalking yeah i agree yeah yeah well listen have a good day of it thank and you, we'll you, catch you later on cheers thanks dan oh i must introduce to you to someone over here alex say hello hey, Peter. so this is alex from hunter gatherer cooking and you'll be doing some um, we are. pieces with, with Peter Gibbon as well. Yeah, we're doing some stuff with Peter. Um, and then we've got 22 others and yourself on Sunday coming good. on. Good, yeah, looking forward to it. Should be good, so, um, Yeah, 22 others. Well, 21 plus you. You're going to be busy, aren't it's you? It's going to be a busy day. You're going to be all talked out by the well, end of Well, hopefully days, not. I shall you? just ask some questions and, and you can answer them. and uh, Let everyone else do the talking. Yeah, right? absolutely. Good. We'll have a great couple of yeah, days. Yeah, see you later. Cheers. So another great thing that we've got here at the show is we've got a number of police forces that have come along and that's in order to assist people with their firearms applications and licensing where people can actually come and get some good advice about how best to apply and the state of their application and how long very often it's going to take. So let's carry on a little bit further and see who else is here. So we have Essex Police, hello. West Mercia Police, <laughs> Devon and Cornwall, and Greater Manchester. Hi. Okay, let's carry on and see what else is here. Hello, gents. Morning. Again, more equipment here. So if you're trying to pick up knives, gun oil, pull through, stalking sticks, slips, anything like that, then the stalking show is a great place to come and do that. We have the Woodland Trust over here. Good morning. Optics Warehouse over here. The Shots Company. I thought this was a great idea. Take a look at these. Good morning. morning. How are you both? Well, Good. You. Looks fabulous. I hope thank you do a roaring trade. You certainly deserve thank to. You very much. Lots of knife makers here as well. Here we've got Revenant knives. We'll be covering a little bit more about knives later on. Okay. Are you Revenant knives yes, here? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Nice to see you. you, I'm, you okay? I'm Peter. Nice to meet are you. Peter, you okay? We're doing a quick whiz around the show, introducing viewers to a few of the things that are here. Yeah, lovely, yeah, yeah. Now, I want to be talking about knives at some stage, so I'll pop back and yeah, see you at yeah, some yeah, stage. Yeah. Okay, but um, you the, Are you the knife maker yourself? Yep. Everything. Brilliant. Nobody else touches us but me. Fabulous. We'll I don't look. trust anybody else to do it. Good. Let's have no. a conversation yeah, later on in the day. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Great to meet you. Now here's a stand I want to introduce you to. It is the British Bow Hunters Association. Hello, gents. How are you? How are you? Great to see you. And you? Hello. Good to see you. Morning. Now Gary came out to see us, didn't he, he did, a while yeah. back? On, on and we talked a little bit about bow hunting. Yeah. Now I think he gave you a brief introduction in compound bows and maybe how to set them up and tune them and stuff, I think, didn't he? He did. He actually. is here, actually, somewhere, Bob. Is he? Yeah. Well, listen, what I want to do later on in the show is perhaps come back and have a better conversation with you because okay. we'd like to do a little bit of a piece because I think a lot of our viewers and audience are interested in, in perhaps, you know, bow hunting, why it doesn't happen in the UK and mm. some of the sort of... Uh, benefits and the pros and cons of hunting a bull with a bow as well so yeah. maybe you'll entertain us at a later stage today we'll, yeah we'll try and fill you in on that brilliant no problem, no problem. good have a good day gents and, and yourself so, thank have you a good day. see ya again loads more clothing here thomas jacks over here More knife makers, and yet more knife makers over here as well. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Irish safaris. Good morning, good morning, 
Good morning. I recognise you. How are you? Fantastic, thank you. Glad Good. to be back. Do you know I've even bought one of your knife sharpeners, oh, I think? Oh, mate. Best knife sharpener in the world. You're going to do a roaring trade today? Let's hope so. Good for I'm you. sure we will. Nice to see you again. <laughs> Great to see you. Okay, so here we are now. We've almost come full circle. We're just going to come into this hall over here. There's going to be a cookery demonstration up here later on today, so something to come, well worth coming to come and see later on. I'd strongly advise you do that. And yet more stands as we come into the third hall. I must just introduce you quickly to someone over here. Now, at the Capriolas Club, we're sponsors of the, a really great charity, and that is the Country Food Trust. So I'm going to grab SJ over here. Excuse me, ladies, would you, would you forgive us if we just interrupt one moment? SJ, lovely to see you. Nice How to are see you? I'm very well, thank you, very well. I was just saying, we're very proud to support the Country Food Trust. Um, we're very proud that you're all are supporting us. We need all the help we can get, and it's and, uh, lovely And nice to see you here, represented yes. uh, no, this year. No, absolutely, absolutely. Your first year here. Uh, we didn't come last year. We came on their inaugural year, but not last year. Yeah, so, so yes, yeah. it's lovely to see how much it's grown, actually. Good. Well, it's doing really well, I think, as a show now, isn't it? Yes, so, um, yes, it's on the map, which yeah. is good. Well, best of luck today. Nice Thank to see you. Thank you. Again. Good to see you, Peter. Cheers. More great places to come and grab yourself a bite to eat. Now, this will be of interest to you, a lot of you. We have some cold trailers here. Now, there are some government grants where you can apply for uh, chiller units, and so it's worth coming and have a chat with these guys about that. If you've got an estate or a large ground where you're producing large numbers of deer, this is exactly the type of equipment that you need. So well worth to come and have a little look and uh, see what's on display. Swapcom over here. Good. So loads of other stands in this hall as well, which takes us round more or less full circle. But finally, before we do that, uh, we have Keith from Keith's High Seats over here. So really some fabulous high seats over here, well worth some consideration. If you're looking to populate your ground with some high seats, I'd recommend these, they're absolutely brilliant and MedCert here as well. Give us a quick word about what MedCert is exactly. We provide the medical pro formers for firearms and shotgun certificates across the UK. Brilliant, I wish you best of luck today. Hope you have a great day. We so normally do, thank you very it's much. It's a great trade, really, really useful for people who are applying for firearms and shotgun licenses here in the UK, which takes us round full circle to the Smiley team. We've got Andra and Jonty and um, this is really where it starts off. If you're interested in deer stalking, if you want to get a firearms license yourself, then you're going to need some training. And a great place to do that is via the Proficient Deer Stalker Certificate Level 1 on the UK Shooting and Hunting Academy. So take a little look, and if you are coming to the show, then drop by and say hello. We're stand B19. It's a fabulous show, heaps going on, and uh, we very much hope that you'll come and say hello.